So you're thinking about moving to Logan, Utah? In this video, we're gonna show you around this beautiful city of Logan. One of the reasons that locals love Logan so much is really because you get that small town college vibe with all the conveniences of a major city. Logan is a growing city that has all the major shops and restaurants, but it's still just five minutes away from farm and country living in the surrounding cities, if that's your preference. You're just minutes away from Utah State University, home of the Aggies, and about an hour drive from one of our favorite places, Bear Lake, which is known for its, for its fresh raspberries and fun lake activities. Yeah, Bear Lake is somewhere we actually go yearly. It's so beautiful, and we'll show you a little bit more about that. Um, Logan has about everything you could dream of when it comes to the outdoors. We're actually standing here in one of the many beautiful parks of Logan, Willow Park. And this um, park also even has a zoo. Um, admission for adults is $7 and for kids is 5 So it's a really affordable activity for the family. Um, another, um, in terms of dining, Logan is another city that loves to support their local eateries. It has um, places like Angie's, which is home of the kitchen sink, if you've ever heard of Angie's. Um, we'll take you through some neighborhoods and show you some different price points of different homes so you can see what may fit your budget. If you stick around until the end, like promised, we'll take you up to Bear Lake and show you one of the most beautiful lakes Utah has to offer. If this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything about living in Northern Utah and cities like Logan, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Northern Utah. We are Sloan and Kim Peterson with the Peterson Group. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Northern Utah and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is linked in the description below so we can help make your smooth move to Northern Utah. So as I mentioned, we are here in Logan, Utah today. Logan is a city just northeast of Salt Lake City. It's just east of Brigham City, about a half an hour away, and it's just a beautiful canyon drive really up to Logan. We're approximately about an hour and a half, hour and 24 minutes away from downtown Salt Lake City, which is roughly about 83 miles from Logan. It's 44 miles away from Hill Air Force Base. So really just not too bad of a commute if you would rather live, you know, in a more of a quiet Logan City and then just commute down. Your biggest challenge there would be navigating the canyon in the winter. Um, we can sometimes get that really heavy snowfall and they will shut down the canyon if it gets too bad just because the accidents in Sardine Canyon do get uh, pretty bad. So you do have to have chains and a good vehicle to be able to commute down there. But other than that, maybe a few storms a year, it's very easily navigatable. Um, it's about five minutes from downtown Logan to Utah State University, which is just on the east side of the city. So obviously if you're a student, you'd wanna live probably in Logan or on that east side to have that quick commute for yourself. Logan has a population of just over 52,000 people. So again, it's really a growing city. And as you can see, we're standing here by one of the three dams here in, in Logan. So they have what's called first dam, second dam, and third dam. We're actually at third dam. And what that really means is that we're at the bottom of the canyon. As you progress up is where you get the second dam and first dam. They all have uh, a little bit of recreational area like what you can see behind us here. So people are paddle boarding, kayaking, swimming, and really just enjoying uh, some time here. Only about five minutes, like I said, from downtown to the dam. So you can really get away really quickly without even going into the canyon. So once we do go up the canyon, you have a lot of uh, different campgrounds. So Monte Crisco and, you know, just a bunch of Cache Valley uh, National Forest out there, probably about 15 to 20 different campsites at least. And they're all very beautiful covered trees. Um, the Logan River runs through just about all of them and just a very great uh, place, just a recreational outside of the city that you can go to. 
Yeah, and another fun activity that happens up here in Logan every year for the 4th of July is the Cache Valley Cruisin'. We couldn't mention Logan without mentioning that. Um, they have a concert, fireworks, they have a parade, car show with all the old cars. It's a super fun activity. We actually come up every year for it. Um, in Logan, the temperature isn't as hot. It's about, you know, eight to 10 degrees cooler yeah. than in Ogden, which doesn't sound like a big difference, but it really is. So spending a July 4th outside really isn't too bad. Uh, the car show is held in Willow Park where we started. So as you could see, there's tons of mature trees, lots of shade. So it really isn't too bad. It's a really fun event to come up for. Um, Logan also has an old downtown district, kind of reminiscent of 25th Street in Ogden, where they tried to maintain that old, you know, integrity of the original buildings. Um, you'll find shops, restaurants, a lot of local shops there. It's a fun way to spend an afternoon shopping and eating. And in terms of housing affordability, Logan is, um, like Sloan said, one of the fastest growing cities. It's a mix of townhomes and condos for student housing, starter homes, move ups, luxury. You can pretty much find any type of home that you're looking for in Logan, which makes it a great option. With that being said, we're going to go um, check out some homes now in the 300, 500, and 850 price ranges so you can get an idea of what your budget would get you here in Logan. All right, guys, we'll see you in just a minute. Okay guys, we are here at the first property. It is being offered at $300,000, which is a steal. It's an end unit townhouse, three bedrooms, one and a half baths at 1224 square feet. Um, it was built in 2004, so it's a little bit newer, not too old. Um, the, one of the great things about this house is if you chose to buy it and you are a USU student, you are only 10 minutes away from the school, which also makes a great rental. So something we'd love to talk to our clients about is house hacking. And something great about house hacking is if you're renting anyway, or if you're a parent of somebody who's going to school and you have to rent them apart, an apartment or they have to rent an apartment, it's a great investment opportunity. So if you are a student and you are buying a house yourself or you were looking to rent, but have the option to purchase the house. We always recommend to purchase a house and then you can rent out the other two rooms to help you pay that mortgage. Um, as a parent, if you are renting an apartment for your child or you know that they want to rent, you might want to look into an investment opportunity to purchase them a townhome, which you can then rent out while they're also living there to help pay the mortgage or rent it out in the future after they've graduated. That's always a great idea for homes like these, your starter homes, first time homes. Um, this is great, like we said, for a student, for a person buying their first property, and you can't always rent it down the line or you can sell it and cash out your equity. But of course, this isn't a long-term option. So now we're gonna go ahead and take you to a move up house that's around the $500,000 price point. All right guys, so we are here at house number two. We are here on the west side of Logan. So when we first started the video, we showed you guys Willow Park. Um, we're about 10 minutes away from that and about five minutes away from the first house that Kim showed you. So this neighborhood is really nice and quiet. It was built in around 2000. We do have some newer houses peppered in here too, um, a little bit of new construction, but really most of it was built between 2000 and 2010. The house behind me was actually built in 2008. It is four bedrooms, three bathrooms, just under uh, 2,700 square feet. 
the area, the whole area around here is really about that. So it's a move up area. So we're not gonna see anything really under 2,500 square feet. Um, the 2,700 square feet that this one is does put it around $184 a square feet. So that how that puts this house at about 500,000. Um, that is pretty average for this area, really, for what you get. So, you know, you're going to have, like I said, anywhere from ramblers to two stories. There's a lot of mixtures of types of houses. And you can see behind me, there's kind of that canopy tree area kind of happening. I love seeing that um, personally. It, it makes me know the area is a little established and it's just kind of cool looking anyway. So um, this area, like I said, is on the west side. So when we first came in here, this open field. So there is a lot of horse property and raw land if you wanted to go that route. Or if you want something a little more established, right, you can uh, you know, just hop into one of these areas, one of these suburbs, um, and just kind of get that feel. So it is quiet. It is have a family feel. So there's lots of kids that have been running around. And uh, you know, it just kind of has that community uh, environment. So um, we're about 10 minutes away from downtown. And um, we're about probably 15 minutes away from the the university and we're also about 45 minutes away from bear lake so um when people from logan when they grow up here they kind of stay here so logan is really full of a lot of people that were born and raised and stayed in logan my family is actually a part of my family is from logan so i spent summers out here spending time in bear lake and just riding our uh, bikes around in the parks and all that kind of stuff so um, we're going to go ahead and take you to the next area it's listed at about 850,000, so you can get a good idea of what that looks like and we'll see you over there All right, guys, as promised, we are here at the last house. This house is being offered at 850,000. And believe it or not, for this area, this is actually a super affordable house. These homes in this area, this is um, high on the east side of Logan, as far east as you can go. We're pressed right up against the mountain. Um, and in this area, it is more of that gated luxury community. So houses here, they start really at the 850 price range. So like I said, this is on the lower side and they go up into the millions of dollars. So this house is five bedrooms, three and a half baths, 49, 41 square feet. So you are getting quite a big house for the price, which, you know, in this area, it is gonna be those bigger homes. And the other really cool thing is typically these bigger homes, these more luxurious homes are on a little bit bigger of an acreage, which is really nice. That's what a lot of people look for. And that's what you will find in these sort of priced homes. You know, here you've got your university professors, your business professionals. That's kind of the area in which this type of people live in these areas. Um, it's mature landscaping. That particular house was built in 2018. So this is a newer development. And as you'll see when we take you through the neighborhood, there's quite a bit of new builds still going on. So you have your choice of buying an established home, or if you want a brand new home, you can choose a new build as well. Um, the other thing is, about Logan. We haven't really talked much about the weather up here, but it is on the other side of the canyon from Ogden. So it does range about 10 degrees cooler, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's quite a bit once you, you know, get into these hot, hot um, numbers. And it is more humid because we are just an hour outside of a lake um, and we are on the other side of the canyon. It gets quite humid in, in Logan. So if you prefer that kind of heat, um, make sure to put Logan on your list of cities. Now we really try to hit three different 
types of price points when we are looking at homes so you can really see the difference of what your budget gets you. Of course, there's everything in between. So if you are looking to live in Logan, make sure you contact us and we can find you a home in any of these price points. And now, as promised, we are gonna take you to Bear Lake. So we are standing here at um, Utah State University, home of the Aggies. The actual football field is just right behind us there. So as you can see, Logan is just really anything but your typical university town. It's got that historical downtown in the center with restaurants, shopping, and all of your major conveniences really just spread out in each direction. Still, it's located just miles or minutes away from farmland and dairies. It does have Gosner's. And if you've ever had Cache Valley cheese, you'll know just firsthand how amazing uh, the dairies that come out of Cache Valley are. It really has that true country living still available. It has that, you know, even if you want anything from downtown living all the way to, you know, that farmland living, it still has all that. So you can spend a day on campus really just enjoying a book, going to a game, or visit any of the mini parks like Willow Park that we showed you earlier that Logan has to offer. You can head downtown for shopping and get a local eats. There's lots of burgers and there's really lots of local eateries around as well. Or you can take an hour drive up to the beautiful Bear Lake for a day or two, 
of relaxation and water activities. Hopefully you guys found that tour of Logan, Utah helpful. You know, we're really trying to showcase these cities in Utah. So if you did like what you saw, leave us a comment below and let us know what your favorite thing was. And if you li live in Logan and we didn't mention something that is your favorite, also leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Again, Logan's one of the most beautiful cities you could move to in Northern Utah. The median home value is around 405,000. Your median rent is around 1615 a month. Your median income is 42,000, and that is a little bit lower than other cities we've showed you. But remember, it's taking every person working into consideration. So your college students, which there are a lot of here in Logan, um, there have been 41 price reductions in the last 30 days, which is again, great time if you're looking to buy in Utah. And your most expensive home right now is 2.2 million in Logan. So it does have those luxury neighborhoods like we showed you with that last house. So if you're looking to purchase, we'd love to help you out. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Logan, Utah, or other cities here in Northern Utah. Until next time, we're keeping it real estate. See you guys. Bye.